backstage. Oh, what are we doing? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna tell a story. Take my, take What's my that? clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Do, we're going to do one of our bonus tracks off of uh, the CD that you yeah, all yeah. have of our stories. Yeah. There are eight bonus tracks on our CD if you found them all. That's nine. Eight. There you go. Uh, we've also been drinking quite a bit. No, so. yeah. Sorry for you guys who have not. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. Come on for us. Except no, okay, for this yeah, guy right here. He's had plenty. <laughs> I'm sure he brought his own. <laughs> Uh, so what, what is your favorite bonus track of ours uh, that, that is going to be, what's that? The Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, Meets the Jellyfish. A classic, one's enough, but we're only going to do one. Uh, that's actually a, another tale. What's this? Yeah, that's a real story. What, Red Riding Hood? Yeah, yeah. But we'll just take it. We'll, just... well we did our own take on it. We did. And we're oh, gonna... you meant that one, the extended version. When we first... <laughs> it's the director's cut. Right? <laughs> and the Gallus Brothers are going to underscore this, I believe. Woo! Give it up for the Gallus Brothers, everyone! What are you gents hunting for there? Just a, you know, the Red Riding Hood song. The standard, the standard extended version. <laughs> They've been drinking a lot too. You know this. <laughs> you think that we're making this up? <laughs> so we came upon this house, and there was a, a, a dead wolf in the middle of this house. Sitting right in the living room was this dead giant wolf. Yes. A wolf so big that it might be able to fit a small girl inside of it. In fact, there was a girl inside of it. Morgan looked. I did. Well, I was going to be like, let's get out of here. We better check. Just in case. But DK did walk in and say, that wolf is so big, there might be a girl inside of it. Let's leave. And I said, well, hold on a second. Oh, That's a late. great point. There might be a girl inside of that wolf. Lo and behold, there was a young lass who was nearly dead. See, the wolf had swallowed her whole, yeah. and we resuscitated her with some... Uh, CPR. CPR. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and so much of this. <laughs> she had also choked on a small vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing was, we brought her to life. She told us that she choked on a vegetable. Yes. The wolf found her in a sort of incapacitated right. state, and then ate her whole like a snake would eat a mouse. <laughs> in the wolf's defense, I think the wolf thought she was nearly dead anyway. It was probably just taking her out of her misery. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it was a rather humane wolf. Right. Um, <laughs> he was kind of the Kevorkian of wolves. He was putting... <laughs> Yeah, he's like, you know what? She's a vegetable. She choked on a vegetable. <laughs> kind of uh, culling the herd, if you will. <laughs> Absolutely culling the herd. So anyway, we revived her. And we did. Uh, it was CPR. Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, it's, a, it's a European technique. Yeah. You wouldn't know. We've yeah. been, we've toured, we know how it is. So we brought her, we brought her to life. We did. And uh, she was like, hey, well, you guys should stay. Yeah, and you guys should help me hunt down every wolf in this forest and kill them. She was a vengeful little girl. Very vengeful. Nine years old. You wouldn't think they would have so much anger for a nine-year-old. And she, she was prepared. I think she'd been planning this. She had, like, shotguns and crossbows. Machete. Machetes. Which is the European version of machete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had a machete and was trained in the art of karate. Also how you say it in Europe. So anyway, that uh, we had a long, uh, a long summer hunting and killing wolves. <laughs> At a certain point, we felt like we we hurt too many animals. Yes. We killed that shark the summer before, <laughs> and we felt a little bit bad about that. And we started talking to this little girl. Well, and and yeah, we said, hey, we should repent, and we started a wolf refuge. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just north of here. This angered her something fierce. She unleashed all nine years of her anger and fury upon us. Which is a lot of years of anger and fury. Let's just point that out. Let's just reiterate that that's a lot. 
It's nine years. You can imagine what that is. And, and we were there fighting in the woods, this little nine-year-old. I was like this, don't, don't. Yeah, yeah, I was like, don't, don't do it. Here, I'll just demonstrate. This is kind of what it looked like. She got her, this. But imagine machetes in her, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got cut up pretty bad. I did, just right here. Ow! Stop! The thing was, the machete with her reach only cut in about a half a centimeter. So we had thousands of just little tiny little scrapes. I'd show you, but it would give you nightmares. Indeed. Actually, I'll just show you. Because of the lights, whatever. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you guys didn't wear your 3D glasses, guys. You did. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're only seeing this in 2D. Poor you. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that went on for a while, but you know, nine-year-olds they tire out rather quickly. Oh, they sure do. And sooner or later, <laughs> she just started going yeah. down. It was nap time for nine-year-old. <laughs> and pretty soon a wolf came in and just ate her. Yeah. Also a compassionate. Like, have your way with yeah. me, man. She was a bitch. Not our bad. That's my story. Thank you guys, sir.